What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. Now part 112 as a matter of fact. And in this episode we are kicking off by defending from a sally from the garrison at Tarki. So let's fight. This is sort of more of the... This is a less pr lesser priority than the... Pretty much every front I'm currently fighting on. Because right now the clearing up the... Uh, the rear areas of Russian territory, which A, aren't likely to be heavily garrisoned, and B, aren't worth a, a huge amount of money. If I keep squeezing... Oh, let's see, it's tempting to... Yes, what I'm hoping hoping is that I can eventually just pick away the, the bulk of the... Uh, the rear territories, and I'm wondering if that would cause the center of the Russian effort to start having financial issues, and whether it would cause them to start to suffer from high rates of attrition and things like that. But we'll have to wait and find out to see if that's what happens. So then let's just deploy my lines in a fairly conventional manner. There. Plonk him there. Deploy my howitzers in a bit of open space. General in the trees. Oh god, they're right there! Canister shot! Shrapnel shot, sorry. <laughs> These guys are aiming at in the cent in the town against the, uh, the howitzers. Hmm. Cossack, the light cavalry is in range of my Cossack of my infantry, but it is raining, so I'm expecting damp powder to be a serious, a significant impediment. You guys, go for the dragoons. Yes. Bring my colonials down. Well, these guys will be engaged by my line infantry. Hold fire and charge in with my colonials. Well, yeah, now it's time to limber up, which is nice. They're picking off my artillery. Good lads, these are colonial lights, which are they're not bad. Screening an army acting as the eyes and ears, pursue fleeing enemies and keep them from regrouping. But they are also light cavalry, so that's just all I need to rank them up against each other. Let's 
take this wing and let's push them up. Same with this wing. All the howitzers to fire on this big blob. Well, they're running straight towards my line. Wheeled off. Let's anchor two units of line infantry up against this edge and then let's get one of them to start scaling the wall. Sorry artillery, you're not going to get a chance. Let's pick these two to do the similar thing on this flank. Let's turn firewall back on for these guys. Nope. Come around this way. Let's turn firewall off. Turn firewall on. Let's bring in the cavalry. Run them around this way a bit. Just to get them out of the way of my cavalry, so I try to get fewer kills, casualties. Let's pull them back. Let's move my infantry up over here. The guns on the left fire across at this line of infantry. And the guns on on my right to go fire across at this line of infantry. And we have the we have the arch, but to be honest, because we're already climbing up, I may as well just let them keep. Climbing. If I do this, I'm hoping it spreads out the uh, demand. Some are going to run in through the steps. Let's 
Oh yes, that'd be a lovely shot. Uh, you trace down the conscripts. Run them there, my cavalry is all I really need here. Just spread out and use more of these ropes you've thrown up. That's why I've got these guys coming in, because these guys can go. Like so, and like so. Charge down into the militia. Even though there's some out here, annoyingly. Which might screw it all up. Or they'll probably use... Yeah, they're using my ropes to get in as well. My guys are going to bug inside of the wall. Probably. Charge into the general's bodyguard, I guess. Go get him. Oh, you go for that militia unit to help free them up. Poor sods. Straight in. this so where's the rest of you they're all inside the gate they're all in here let's just hold fire with the artillery Who knows, that might provoke these chaps to come out of the door. So I want to attack these other gunners and then I want to set up and just shoot at them. Because I don't know what the hell that's going to have an impact that's going to have. That's right lads, keep coming up. Kill these Russian dogs. Oh, have Adam. Oh no, they're also routing. Is that everyone then? I think it is. There you go. Lovely. Lovely victory. We will then head northeast towards the rear areas. Let's keep going on. Yep, massive rebalancing of Russian population. Looks 
every time they capture someone that could be useful, they lose it. Yeah, they're fine now. So... Yeah, not a huge amount of unrest. There's four. But I'm sure they'd rather have jobs. Good, 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 good. Keep on upgrading. You hit Santa Fe. Oh, that's going to be a... Yeah. Let's put up the tobacco plantation and it's knocked out the seminary. Plenish. I'm going to want these guys. See, I've been burned. Burned badly by the by the Plains Nations. Holy hell, they can really tear the arse out of a decent army. Okie dokie. So. You're not really needed in the European theatre anymore. Although I can't. Oh. Because you're in the way. Yeah, there isn't literally isn't a friend, isn't an enemy port in Europe anymore. I own them all. In which case, then let's do let's do a good old chunk of repairing, and then effectively start to get my. My navy's out to India. Get out to India. Oh, there's a Russian navy. Might be going for a naval battle in due course. Although St. Petersburg is very, very grumpy. I could send their position so that they would... No, actually, I was concerned they these guys would come in as secondary as reinforcements, but they haven't. Huh. Okay, before we do that, let's go back to here to sort out our Swedish chaos. So you go to Clifford, you go to you go back here. And keep going around on foot. Yeah, it's what it doesn't like. It's probably trying to. There you go. They're getting a guards unit. So you keep finishing and moving around. Your unit down. So let's get a unit of cavalry. Probably. Um. Get a regiment of force. Because we're not in Catholic country, it would feel weird trying to recruit cuirassiers. Or at least to me it would. Can you leave Norway? You can. You also keep going. And it's steal a unit of garrison guards to join Sean Lincoln. You're en route to go somewhere. The garrison. Oh, and no, then let's tax you. Get rid of taxes. Good. Then let's build a church school because you're massively orthodox. But that doesn't really hurt you that much. Hmm. Um, then. Oh, yeah. So the Crimean region is now ours because they didn't really have a garrison. Build the city and let's replenish my native army. Rebuild. Let's go to replenishing, hit Astrakhan, maintain the siege. And then this chap, Stuart Busby. Ooh, that's a fair. Oh, that'll be enough actually. Okay, so upgrade the church school. Take Stuart Busby, engage Victor Bokina. Because the idea is if I defeat them, then they'll be pushed north, and then this army at the other end of the, the mountain range will engage them. So let's attack. So even though we have not really got backed up with all the artillery we have to to destroy them, I was concerned they might have lots of veteran units and 
grenadiers and you know lots of stuff like that but fortunately they do not so we can just uh absolutely in revolution there are two sorts of well there we go okay Okay, good. Let's put a one unit up here, which might end up turning to round shot due to the terrain. Good. And then let's get these guys in the lights down the bottom of the hill, and that's where I'm going to group up my cavalry. Now let's just take up position in the centre. General in the middle. Let's engage this unit of dragoons. Okay, let's not engage because they've pulled back. Oh no, they've come back. So now charge into them. Ah! Oh, and they've not, they've dismounted. Very nice of them. But I want to kill them before. Okay, good, 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 good. Spam click to get them out of the way. Oh god, they're rushing. Swarming, swarming onto my cavalry. We should chomp through them. Let's turn fire wheel back on. So we're losing lots of horses. But they're losing men faster than we are. Okay, get a few more kills while they're broken and then ch charge straight on into the footline infantry. Let's play the part of cavalrymen that don't know when to stop. Or actually, no, let's get out of the way. Drop some lovely howitzer shots onto them.
they want to chase down our cavalry. And let's redeploy, retarget our howitzers before they kill everyone. I thought you wanted to play. The 151st Regiment of Foot. Let's, let's go, go, Gadget General. Let's hold all artillery fire. Continue. So you go after the guns. Go after regiment of foot. Go after the militia. No, you go after the militia. You come over here. Try get that unit of footline infantry. There you go. And then you try go after the guerrilla mercenaries. There we go. Good kills. Good kills. Very, very good kills. Nice. Oh, they're gonna make it. Nice victory on the field for our native forces. Mm -hmm. Good. Now they've fallen back. So you can go up. Because you're not a super... You're not, a, you're not a brilliant army. Whereas you guys. You guys are pretty good. So let's push you down. Just keep driving. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot the Marathas were coming. You're not within range to support either. So they will be attacking us with our forces here, but we've got pretty darn good defensive capabilities. Little mortars will be standing back, I suppose. Keith Keats, push on to Kabul with you in. Ooh! An entrenched force. Interesting. So you go up here and chew on the rest of their fleet. Good. So let's take this army, Tobin Davis, and let's get him into Basra. Because we can ship him. We can ship him down and hit uh, Nerun or Ahmedabad or, to be honest, we could probably hit maybe Mysore. Mysore might be quite good to really split their effort. So Texas has lots of upgrades. Your infrastructure, did I do that? Nope. Voice go, yes. Shop school. Industrial building, good. Ubermalia, ironworks. As does Lithuania. Algonquin territory. Did have university, now it's got. Well, I think at a university. Now it's got a steam-powered cloth mill.
Good. They're not on strike in Norway or Sweden anymore. So I think with Persia, I can actually... Well, you got completely hammered. So... If we move you out, they don't get super angry, even if I tax you. So let's move you back to here. And you need three units of infantry. There we go. This is why having just random blocks of line infantry will pay for itself. This army will also be delivered to their shores. You were going to go north. Yeah, three armies going north would be a good idea. Because then I'll have one to, like, one to do some captures and then another one to secure any rear areas. Cool. Let's upgrade the chapter school in Iraq. Yeah, religion rest is going down. Good stuff. Then what do I want to do? Well, I think this turn I'm probably going to want to do this. And assault St. Petersburg. So, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on St. Petersburg. Alright, cheers, guys.